Okay, let's get going and see if we can work this uh, last example. Uh, it's a steam power plant, regenerative Rankine cycle, two open feed water heaters. Steam energy turbine at 10,000 kPa, exhaust to condenser at 5 kPa. But there's extraction at both 600 kPa and 200 kPa to operate the two open feed water heaters. So there are four pressure levels involved in this problem, 10,000, 600, 200, and 5. Uh, it, does, it tells you explicitly here that water leaves both feed water heaters as saturated liquid. So that means that, that again, the open feed water heaters are going to mix steam from the turbine with the feed water coming from the pump, and then the exit of that uh, feed water heater will be a saturated liquid. So the mass flow rate of the steam through the boiler, the total mass flow through the system in the boiler is 22 kilograms per second. So he wants to see a TS diagram and determine power input, sorry, power output of the power plant and the thermal efficiency of the cycle. Okay, well I've jumped ahead a little bit and uh, I've, I've done, gone ahead and done the TS diagram. Uh, and I did that by making use of a figure I found in the book but this one is not exactly the same as uh, this problem so I've doctored it up a little bit but what we have is uh, steam expanding through a turbine uh, it's shown here as two stages it's, it's really um, I guess a, a three stage turbine if you will because we have uh, 10,000 kPa expands to 600 kPa and some is extracted and then uh, some of that that, that doesn't uh, go to the feed water heater continues into the low pressure turbine expands to 200 kPa and that part that doesn't uh, go through 200 kPa goes all the way through to the condenser at 5 kPa so we really have three segments to this turbine if you want to think about it that way but as you'll note here, if you happen to glance at this, I've got state one, two, uh, the pressures two, three, and 11 are all common. The feed water heater operates at uh, constant pressure and everything that's connected to that that's on this side of a pump or a valve is all at the same pressure. So P2, P3, P11 are all the same. That's 200 kPa. Go across the next pump, uh, state 4, 5, and 8 are all at this 600 kPa. And then we go through our third pump, and that takes us up to the boiler pressure. Everything, state 6, 7, uh, are both at the 10,000 kPa. Now, um, this is probably a little bit more complicated problem, and I'm going to try to move through it fairly quickly, but I will spend a little bit of time looking at this first feed water heater in terms of how we're going to determine this fraction why but uh, recall again what these fractions are that based on full flow that is mass flow rate equal one through the boiler then some fraction of that y is extracted for this first feed water heater actually numbered num number two uh, and, and the remainder one minus y flows through the, uh, the next stage and then uh, some part Z, which of course is less than Y, uh, I mean less than w 1 minus Y, is extracted. And uh, the remainder, 1 minus Y minus Z, flows through the, the rest of the cycle. So a big part of this will be figuring out what are the fractions Y and Z. Now, uh, on the TS diagram, let's think about it for a minute. I've already talked about a few things that uh, these pressures uh, are all constant 12 and 1 are at the same pressure we go across the pump 2 3 and 11 are all at the same pressure uh, we go across another pump 4 5 and 8 are all at the same pressure and we go across the last pump and 6 and 7 are all at the same pressure uh, also if we think about our TS diagram this turbine is ideal isentropic so it means that the entropy S7 equals S8 equals S11 equals S12 um, you'll notice there are no states <laughs> 9 and 10 
that's because I had to modify this uh, drawing a little bit. But uh, states uh, 7, 8, uh, 11, and 12 will all have the same entropy. Now think about it, that would change if there was uh, isentropic efficiency with these turbine stages. But we have ideal turbine, so S7, S8, S11, S12 are all the same. Likewise, um, isentropic flow across this pump 1, isentropic flow across this pump uh, 2, and isentropic flow across this pump 3. Okay, so uh, what does that look like on a TS diagram? As I said, gone ahead and sketched it out for you here. Um, one to two is um, isentropic pumping. Uh, two uh, to three uh, is, well, actually the state two is mixed with the state 11 to give us saturated liquid at state three. Remember, that's how the open feed water heater is going to work that the open feed water heater is going to take some steam at 11, mix it with that feed water at 2 in order to produce a saturated liquid at state 3. So that's what we see on the chart, that 2 and 11 mix together to give us 3. So then at that, that, uh, state 3, we have isentropic pumping from 3 to 4. And again, in that second feed water heater, state 4 is mixed with some bled steam uh, from eight, and that's going to give us a saturated mixture, saturated liquid at state five. And then finally, state five is pumped up to six. Six is in the boiler, and that's where all the heat is added. And then we have that isentropic expansion through one turbine stage, the next turbine stage, the next turbine stage. Okay, so that's the TS diagram, and I do realize that's kind of a hard part of this problem, but uh, we, we've got that uh, done. Okay, uh, let's go back to uh, our diagram and think about putting a control volume on this first feed water heater. Now remember what I said, if we have multiple feed water heaters, we want to always start with the one that's closest to the boiler. That's going to isolate this first unknown fraction and will allow us to calculate it separately. Once we find that one, we go to the next feed water heater and write the uh, equations for this one. And uh, that one's going to involve the, the fraction y, and we will need to have found it first. So always start with the feed water heater closest to the boiler. In that case, in this case, feed water heater 2. So let's see what we can uh, piece together about this. Oh gosh, I didn't fill in all this stuff. Let me try to get going on it. I believe this is the same as P2 and I believe this is the same as P4 and P7 is the same as P6 and uh, P8 is the same as um, go back and look and see P8 is the same as P5. Which is the same as P4. And uh, I guess I had this in here. This is a high, high pressure feed water heater. Uh, there is no 9 and 10, so that's going to simplify things quite a bit. Uh, 11 uh, is the same as um, 2, and 12 is the same as 1. All right, fine. The other things that were given in the problem is the maximum temperature. That's the temperature going in the boiler, which is T7, is 600. And um, that the mass flow rate is 22 kilograms per second. 